I had never stage managed in my life, right? And uh, this came from the Army, incidentally, because I'd, I'd gone down, this was 1951, 52, whenever. I've forgotten what month the show was done, but anyway. I was on my way on the subway to going to down to see my agents and see if I could get a gig because I was working clubs and so on and I was I was a, a vaudeville performer and uh, a guy sitting across from me on the subway said excuse me weren't you in the army I said yeah he said you were at Fort Belvoir I said yes he said you used to teach the soldiers how to do the trick stuff to music with the rifles I said yeah he said, well, I'm with the Broadway show, and we want our dancing chorus to do some of that stuff. And we haven't been able to find anyone. Do you think you could teach some dancers? I said, yeah. I said, I'm a dancer. He said, good. Gave me his card, said, meet me at the, and I did. I met him, and we worked out a deal that I would teach the chorus how to do this. This for a two week, take a couple of weeks, I told him, and which it would have. And why, so now, at this point on Broadway, Understood. There's no black stage managers at all. Hadn't been production stage managers, especially, but no black stage managers. And so, the, he were there many blacks at all behind the scenes? None that I can think of. None that I can think of, really. And uh, so it took me and I started working with the chorus. Well, so now I'm working also with the stage manager because he's got to call the people that I want and set up the time, et cetera, et cetera. So while I was doing this, the stage, the stage manager himself, the production stage manager says, you know what, Jimmy? Oh, I like the way you handle people. And I haven't hired my third assistant. If you would like the job, I'd like, I'd like you to, to be my third assistant. I said, well, I know nothing about stage managing. He says, if you take the job, I'll teach you. So bingo, I took the job. And he started teaching me, and he did. He was, he was excellent. I love him. While I'm doing this now, mind you, at the same time, uh, Richard Ward, Dick Ward, who was, had done a lot, he did a lot of stuff in Hollywood and so on, he's dead now, Dick. But Dick is doing a role on the show called Rocky which is the part of a master sergeant. He was going to call all of these commands that I'm teaching these people the, the chorus to do with the rifles. Of course, you had to, had to teach them in cadence, the same as you do in, in marching and so on. And so the stage manager came to me one morning. Now, I'm working for him. Now, I'm still staging what's that's the opening of the show and, he, and working for him as well. He said, Jimmy, they're going to fire Dick Ward. They're going to audition some people for that role because they don't like his projection. Because Dick didn't have Dick had to talk to him, but I think his projection was very throaty. He said, why don't you audition for it? I said, but I'm working for you as a stage man. He said, if you, as an assistant under Actors' Equity, you can work and do small parts. So audition for them. I did, and they loved it. Bingo. So now I'm doing three jobs on the show. I'm staging the opening. I'm assistant stage manager, and I'm doing uh, Rocky. And uh, okay, so we get the show, gets rehearsed and so on, we go out to break in. There's a go like to New Haven, Connecticut, and go to Boston and then Philadelphia and so on, come back to open in New York. And we're all set to open in New York. We've, we've done all of this now, and we're coming into New York to open in New York at the Broadway Theater. And opening night, when we were about, I guess about an hour from curtain time, the stage manager who had taught me and so on was discovered that he was an alcoholic. And he had, had tasted so much, because I looked down at the bottom of the desk and there's a scotch bottle that was almost down to the bottom. He had hit it so much, fortifying himself for opening night. Of course, opening night's a big thing on Broadway, all your critics, etc. And he couldn't stand up. And the producer, that's why I won't tell you his name. The producer is about to, about to lose his mind. He, 
he called on the phone. I heard him talking to stage stage managers who, whom he called, say, don't know your book. And the stage manager got to know the book to run the show. And that time, the carpenter, Lou Thomas, said, and as you know, probably the, the carpenter is the boss of the stagehands. He's the head of all the stagehands on the show, on the Broadway show. He said, I don't see why you're pulling your hair out because Jimmy can run the show and we'll help you, Jimmy. I looked at him uh, with a can I? He said, you can do it, Jimmy, because I had been doing things right along. This guy's teaching me. And so sure enough, my first Broadway show, opening night on Broadway, where I'm, I've staged the opening, I'm a still working as a sister stage manager, I'm doing a part on the show, and I'm running the show, and this is number one. And at the opening of the show, opening of the show was I'd raise, get the curtain up, it's in, in black, in darkness, and then I'd throw the first cue, which is the lights is a, a creep on a count. I throw the first cue, uh, uh, cue number one, the count of 15, and then I would run on stage because I had to go come on stage doing the part, Rocky, and, and call, fall out to the, to the supposed troops, which is the chorus, to come out of their barracks and come out and start that count and take them right on through all of that stuff that I had staged and so on, then get back to the desk and continue running the show with lights and everything. And, uh, and then when time came for me to come back out as Rocky, I had to come back out because I was all, all through the show. So that was opening night, Broadway. It was my first job as a stage manager. But it was good because after that I had a, a, a reputation because that spread around the industry. People knew about it. And uh, so I would get offered jobs. Does that mean that you, be you became the first black stage manager on Broadway? Yes, it was. Yes, yes. And so not only had you done those three roles, those three jobs, uh, this was this was the first. And yeah, yeah. And, and I, you know, and I, I still shake once in a while when I realize <laughs> the 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 vast job that it is because a production stage manager Broadway opening night is heavy because the full weight of everything, the investment in everything, is on your shoulders. Because, you know, on Broadway, it's the production station manager's God on Broadway.